even aside from your own experience, what you've seen now working with so many other people is when you look back on it, you look at it now, why do you think this is a sick care system, not a healthcare? I mean, you've just articulated it beautifully um, yourself, but it, it is, it kind of, it's, it's just kind of initiating more sickness. It's not, it's not calling for wellness. Like there are some instances where medications are needed in my personal opinion, there are very few where it's really needed. Where we excel is emergency care and neonatal care. That's really kind of where we excel. Aside from that, most of the chronic conditions we have and that we are getting are preventable. So for those who don't want to work towards preventing it, yes, medication is going to be the best thing for you because if you don't want to work towards preventing it, you're unlikely, you're going to be unlikely to want to work to get rid of it because there's a lot of work involved. Um, and so it, it just it just perpetuates a cycle. And I don't ever see anyone that goes down that cycle kind of, I, they're not in a state of wellness. You know, wellness is when all the parts of your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual are in symbiosis, are working in symbiosis. And when one is out of balance, and this is, you know, I, I say this and I use this in my course. I teach this to my clients. It's like the analogy of, a, you know, a 16-wheeler a, a lorry. And if one of those wheels is flat, goes flat, for example, you've got 15 other wheels and yet the lorry will still not get very far. The warning light will come on and eventually you will have to stop. And you can carry on driving with 15 wheels if you want, but it's not going to be very safe. And you're not going to end up in a very good place. And our bodies are the same. We're, we're not just kind of these linear beings made up of a series of different parts all working in isolation. We're, we're a being that is made up of a body, mind, and spirit. And those things all have to work together in symbiosis in order for healing to take place. And healing could mean anything for people. It could mean healing from an autoimmune disease. It could mean healing from a negative mindset, you know? Healing is anything, is getting yourself to a state of, of health and wellness. And in order to get there, we really have to take the whole person into account. And the medical system, the medical model as it's set up does not do that. It does not take the whole person into account. You've got a stomach problem. Oh, you go see a gastroenterologist. Or oh, now your heart's bothering you. You go see a cardiologist. Oh, you're getting migraines. You go, go see a neurologist. Are any of those ologists speaking to each other? No. Is there any kind of connection and any, is any one of them speaking about, well, it could be that that medication is what caused that in the first place. Or, do you know, let's look at your nutrition. Why don't we do that? Or let's look at your, I'm a big fan of Dr. John Sarno and his books about repressed emotions and sit down and journal. You know, it sounds so simple, but I think one of the problems with, with the medical system is they expect everything needs to be complex. Everything needs to be in a scientific paper first, you know, if it's not in the Lancet, we don't really understand it. We're not going to, but actually it's really simple. If you just give the body what it needs and you fuel the body with the things that are going to help it to thrive, your body is going to thrive. Yeah. That's all there is to it. No, it's beautifully said. And I, I agree with you that, you know, health is really actually quite simple. It's taking mm -hmm. care of yourself in those ways. It's expressing yourself. It's doing things that are incredibly, you know, are free to us, being out in nature, connecting with others, all these pieces.